Hello, and welcome back to Keeping Up with Kristen. Well, this week we had our Liquor Task Force meeting, and I'm here today with Superintendent Jim Kanapka. Jim, thanks so much for being here. Happy to be here. We appreciate your participation in these meetings. But I wanted to ask you about this last call liquor stores that we've heard so much about exciting. recently. It's very exciting. Yes. So tell us all about it. Well, I think it's really the, the convergence of, of a couple of different things. I always get asked two questions. How come we don't have more rare bourbon in Ohio? And how come we, I have to drive to Kentucky for good deals on commodity type liquors? Mm -hmm. And so the rare bourbon piece, I've been doing nothing but getting rare bourbons in and cutting deals and having raffles and we're gonna have um, some lotteries on those kind of things, people waiting around the block for an opportunity to buy it. Here is an opportunity where the state has last call items, closeout items, where the, the vendors change a label or change a bottle or um, change of flavor mm -hmm. and we already own it the state owns the liquor already so when they go a different direction we have cases and cases of stuff now that's the last of its kind or if it's not selling particularly well there's a flavor that didn't go over well or there's a size that didn't go over well so it's the last of its kind as I mentioned and so in the stores we have a last call section that's been really really popular so we decided why not make an event out of it. We could do an auction for a raffle for a rare bourbon, um, an auction for the barrels that we actually pick mm -hmm. after they're bottled that people can use for planners or for their uh, yeah, very home cool. pub or yeah. whatever. But at the same time, have just like a cool warehouse sale that we're calling the last call where boxes will be stacked up on the floor. We'll actually hand out pieces of paper with lists of last call items with the original price, what the markdown price is, and you walk in, you get a piece of paper, and you just look for treasure. It's like a treasure hunt. Um, it reminds me of like the popularity of those uh, storage unit shows where it's like, what's in there, <laughs> right? And so I, I bought a bottle of, uh, I'm an Elvis fan, and I bought a bottle of Three Olives Elvis. Okay. For $8. For $8. And Wonderful. it's vodka, but I'll probably never drink it. Right. But it's on. It's a conversation piece at, at home. But we have um, Maker's Mark Pharaoh. And, you know, it's the it's the horse, the Kentucky Derby winner. But we have tons of it left, and it's great whiskey. Um, Gordon's Gin. We, we just have lots of different cool stuff. Um, things that, some cordials that you'll never see again. And it's just going to be a big event. Giant Eagle. Um, is a partner, um, and so if it goes over real well, we may be looking at other uh, venues um, to do in these events more regionally. So That's exciting. Yeah, and I, I just appreciate the Grocers Association uh, partnership here. Um, we picked this particular location as a result, really, of you, um, you know, uh, giving, getting us to know uh, Giant Eagle and the Giant Eagle people. Um, there's a spot over on Neal Avenue that they're, mm -hmm. that they're downsizing, and it's just a really big space. Um, that we thought we could do the event. They're going to have food trucks, artists, probably music. It's, it's going to be, be great. It's going to be a great event. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for your partnership. Thanks so much for your leadership. Mm -hmm. And uh, for more information, give me a call. It's but for be, now. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. But for now, thanks for watching. Keeping up with Kristen. Bye.